Hi there, everybody. I'm David Newbury, and I am unabashedly a nerd. So, <clears throat> if you've been to MCN before, you've heard someone get up on a stage like this, and you've heard them talk about linked data and how it's the future of museums. And you've probably walked away rolling your eyes, because linked data is terrible. It's confusing, it's difficult, and it's advocated by shaggy developers. I should know. <clears throat> I lead development on ArcTrax. It's a linked data project doing provenance. I work on the American Art Collaborative. It's a linked data, multi-museum stuff. <clears throat> I do linked data for a living, and you know what? It's weird, it's hard, and it's complicated. This, I'm good with acronyms. I understand this. I don't on only understand this, I have tried to do this. <clears throat> and it's random nonsense. And the problem is that you people who don't do linked data think it's random nonsense. The problem is your developers think this is nonsense. And you know what? They're probably right. Because here's the dirty secret of linked data. Linked data is terrible, and everything that you're doing today, you could do without linked data. And I know this because you were doing it and you're not using linked data. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. <coughs> <coughs> These things, data interoperability, reconciliation, they are lies. We talk about how wonderful they are, but you know what does these things? Hard work, boring work, work that you have to do. No. <coughs> Linked data is not going to solve your problem. There's a reason that the corporate world doesn't do linked data. Because if you have a business problem to solve and your problem needs to be solved with data, we have an answer for that. It's called an API. <clears throat> so why am I here? Why am I talking about it? My job here is not to rage quit all the products I'm working for and go back to selling underwear. <clears throat> I really do believe there's a place for linked data in our museums, but we need to talk about it. We need to talk about what museum data is. What we do as a museum is we collect things. We collect big things, we collect little things. We're collectors, but we're professional collectors. And the difference between us and a hoarder is that before we shove it in our basement and forget about it for the next 50 years, we document it. <clears throat> But here's the thing, nobody cares. Look, I'm a museum data nerd. I love this stuff. I am fascinated that we have an ontology that describes medium and subject and technique and concept. But you know what? <clears throat> this is lousy, lousy party conversation. Do you know what people care about? People care about people. And you are not normal people. You are here listening to me talk about linked data in New Orleans. <clears throat> <laughs> Do you know what normal people care about? Normal people care about themselves. <laughs> they care about people. They care, look, I mean, the objects are important. Everyone knows it. That's why they're in a museum. And people trust us for that. But they want to know why we care about it. They want to know how these objects relate to things in their life. And data's not going to do it. I mean, this doesn't just count all the work that we all do around data every day. It's good work. It's hard work. It's transformed our field. It's transforming history. And we are really, really good at it. We haven't done it, we may never have done it, but at least we know how to do it. But here's the thing, I am not my driver's license. I am not my metadata, I'm not my college grades. These are essential, but they are not who I am. I am my connections to other people. Six months ago, I bought a piece of art and I hung it on the wall because my son was born and every time I look at it, I think of him. And that is what art does. Art is not, art is not art, art is painting, you know, it's cloth, it's goop, it's nothing important. Where it's important is where it connects people to people and people to events and people to things. It's a social network of objects. And that's what we want to do is connect people to themselves, connect people to other people, connect people to events. The connections are what make us relevant. It's a social network, not a collection of documents. But you know who else talks about social networks? Facebook. And you know what they use to document all of their stuff? Linked data. And you know why they do it? Because they don't care about your birthday. They care about your birthday because your birthday is a way to get 50 people to comment on your blog and make connections with other people. And they call it graph data because that's cool and not link data because that's old and, old and boring, but it's important. Because what's important are these human connections that bring us all together. And there is no database schema that defines human interaction because if you do that, you throw away everything that makes humans important. But when we talk about linked data, what we have to talk about is the link part and not the data part. Because we're different from industry that our problem is not solving things, it's documenting the human condition through preserving the objects that matter to them. The tools are terrible, will fail regularly, but the promise of linked data is that it might let us do this. And if we are willing to do the work, if we're willing to document not just our objects, but the connections between it, we might help people tell the stories that matter to them. And those stories are the stories that they tell about themselves. Thank you very much. Yeah!